Hello Universe, it's Gypsy. Thank you for visiting my channel. This is my Pan That Palette for the Week video. Last week's palette that I chose to play with, because I'm just playing with these palettes, I'm not actually panning out a palette of the week, was my MAC 8 Colors eyeshadow that I found in the Bahamas when I went on vacation last year. Here's a close look at it. I have to use a makeup light for lighting. I don't own a ring light, and I probably never will. I, I don't imagine ever buying a ring light. So this is what the palette looked like. I wore it to complement my Panna's Oldest Time project um, with the Fantastic Ladies. That's a 1992 Avon palette that I'm working my way through. These colors were dark for that palette. Uh, it, it was not something that I could use these two, or there's actually three, one, two, three very light colors in this pan. This is actually, the light might not be picking it up real well. This is actually a mustard color, and this is like a brownish gold color. This is a... Uh, grayish white and this is a white they didn't seem buildable enough or light enough for the colors in my pan as old as time project which are dark colors there's a brown a black an olive and even the green in there can look dark I was hoping I guess when I picked this up I saw that mustard shining through and I was hoping that I could get this to work with it. The colors would be nice to complement a lighter palette or a palette that might have some shimmers to put on the lid, but to complement that palette, not so much. This formula, this particular palette was powdery and had a lot of fallout. It had a, it, the powder is a nice soft, creamy feel to it. I mean, it's it's finely milled. It's a, it's not a cheap quality product, but um, I'm not gonna say this was one of my favorites. It's not so far. I've actually enjoyed some cheap products like Ellen Tracy better than that. So I'm gonna pull in another cheap product. This is also a new product. It's less than six months old. I ordered it in August. It arrived in November, so I ordered it before I started my no-buy, but it arrived well into my no-buy. Um, from I ordered it from AliExpress. Um, there, it's called Classic Queen Pro Color Nine Eyeshadow Palette. It is full frosts. Let me show you the outside before I show you the inside. And I think this is a matte. It's looking like there's two mattes in here, guys. The rest are frosts. This is a matte, and this is a matte. The rest of these are frosts. I'm wearing the one in the center on my eyelid today with the brown Frankenpan that I created for, uh, from in my Panas All This Time. And I used a blending brush, started on the corner and just brushed over, and I took my finger and touched this and just put it on the lid with the eyeliner. Um, and then a uh, lighter colored uh, brow bone highlight. So three colors, done. That sounds like a good week to me with makeup, um, for work makeup. So the top of the lid is interesting. It has instructions on how to wear the makeup. Um, maybe a night out of wearing makeup, but definitely not work makeup. So these are the steps, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, it just, the diagram looks too dark. And I know the lighting might not be the best. I'm sorry about that. The sun hasn't come up yet. And that noise you hear is the heat reclaimer on the wood burning stove. I've already built a fire. 
in the house. It's 40 degrees. I, it's, it's not it's not cold by some people's standards, but um, I've got a little bit of firewood that I don't want to store over the summer, and I don't want cluttering up the yard. Even though I've got a big farm that I could move it on to, I just, you know, it's 40 degrees. I can burn it today. I'm home today. It's a Sunday. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> Y'all see my pajamas a lot, actually. So that's the palette that I'm going to be working on this week. And I'm going to roll out that MAC palette. And I'll be back in a week to let you know how it performed. I'm looking forward to this one. Just picking up that one shadow on my finger this morning. It's the frost. It's, it's the eyelid frost that I've been hoping for and looking for. I actually walked around TJ Maxx this week on one of my days off. I had to go. I had to drive into town to make a deposit. For some reason, my state income tax refund got mailed to me instead of being direct deposited. So I drove into town, walked around quite a few stores, Kohl's, TJ Maxx, um, a few stores, and resisted all those temptations to buy. They've got the chocolate palette out. They've got an Anastasia palette out. Both of them were $20 or less, and I thought, I don't want any more palettes. I was looking for singles because I wanted a frost for the lid and now I've shot my stash and found one so all in all as far as the no buys going um, I did not cave in to my kryptonite which is palettes. I didn't cave in on eyeshadow so I did well even though I went plundering around. I should not plunder around but I couldn't resist myself. I just uh the idea of driving all the way into town to make a deposit just, I don't know, I, I didn't need to grocery shop, didn't have any other errands, so I ended up shopping, but I didn't buy anything. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you in a week with another palette to try. And as I said, the MAC this week, it was powdery. It wasn't light enough to complement my pants all this time. The darker colors I ended up tracing my eyeliner with or setting my um, stick eyeliner, the ones in the corner over here, I ended up setting the eyeliner with. So I did touch on all of them. I did touch on all of them, even the olive color. I did touch on all of them. Just uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 5. It's okay. It's nothing exciting. Um, I, and it might be because they're mats, and I, I, I've been craving a frost because I've got mats in that pan all the time. Sometimes that affects your opinion, what you're, what you're looking for and what you're craving and what you've got to work with. Um, but this week I have something that I've been craving, so I think I'll be happier with it. I'll see you again in a week, guys. Have a wonderful day.